and welcome back to another video! Hello and welcome back to another video! Um, this is just going to be a quick one, um, talking about what, uh, um, Pokemon Stadium and why I think we need a, you know, Pokemon Stadium 3 or an equivalent, well actually would be the fourth one because it was um, Battle Revolution Generation 4. Um, but uh, Pokemon Stadium 3, um, most, I think that's just going to be the easiest way to refer to it as. Um, so, um, in Sword and Shield, it's been confirmed that basically you're not going to have all access to every Pokemon from every generation. Uh, you're only going to ha have access to certain Pokemon from certain generations. And while I don't really think that's like the worst thing ever, um, I can definitely see understand why some people aren't too happy with it. And uh, the reason why I think we need a um, saw a Stadium 3 is because basically uh, it uh, could just act as a you know battle simulator like showdown that I'm playing right now. Um, it could uh, act like that and it, uh, um, you know you uh, just uh, Build a team and uh, um, just take it out and test it. And uh, just like oh yeah, and uh, just uh, like um, Pokemon Showdown, you uh, can have different formats like. Um, I don't know if they're gonna be if they'd be the exact same as like smoke on tears, but they could have their own like tears and uh, they could even just like um gen and they could have like each generation and the, the you know and basically I think this uh, and just like have uh, higher uh, and they ha just like have really nice models for the Pokemon and uh, just make it a uh, um, battle simulator and I think a lot of people and. Even if you had to pay for it, I think a lot of people would just be happy with that. Um, and it, uh, I also think uh, that um, something they could do, um, even if they just like, uh, so what they could do is like have like gym leaders and the elite four. And uh, that you could like battle them from the different generations, but and uh, that, but only be able to use, well, I don't know. Maybe be, maybe you should be able to use Pokemon from other generations. But I was thinking like more of only be, only be able to alert to you uh, so Pokemon from those generations uh, and uh, from the generations they're from, and uh, um, then you know battle them and auto level. So it's just like you can take a. a you know, a full team of level 100s to block, or anything like that. Um, uh, and, it, and the Dino would auto-level to where they were, and even if it was like the first, the gym leaders and the lead four from like the first four generations, and then do the second four generations afterward. I think that would uh, be good, a good idea because I do think that a battle, you know, a battle, you know, simulator would be good. And um, I think they could implement shiny Pokemon by like, if you have a shiny Pokemon um, in like home or registered in like one of the other games, but probably going to be home being as you know, that's um, where you're going to be able to keep most of your Pokemon. Um, then uh, you can uh, just, uh, um, you know, 
It's just like, oh, uh, we recognize that you have this shiny Pokemon in uh, your bat in uh, Pokemon Home. Of course, I flinch. Um, so, so we have uh, unlocked the shiny Pokemon in, you know, for you. Um, I think that I think that would be a good way to implement shiny Pokemon. Um, and another thing they could do is um, I just big something else they could do is. Add like voice chat, so um, you could like turn voice chat on and off. Um, so you can talk uh, to uh, the person you're battling, and uh, I think that I think that might be a bit problematic. Because, and I don't think they would ever do that, mainly because um, there there is a lot of like um, toxicity. In the Pokemon community, and I, I really don't like using that word because it's just been like misused. Why is there a bar boat? What did I? Did I just build a team that's just only a bar boat? Yeah, well, why is that there? I have no idea. <laughs> why did I have that? Um, but yeah, and I think this would solve. A a lot of problems where, uh, uh, you know, to the point where um, they wouldn't need to make a new game with every Pokemon in it again and again because they just they just have this one game and when the new game comes out with more Pokemon they just release a free update with all the new Pokemon in it, all their movesets and they update the movesets and stats for everything and then, uh, you know, just have that one game be the game for battling and then have the uh, main series games, the RPG games, for story, just make it mostly like you go there for the story and uh, to breed shiny so you can unlock shinies in it and, uh, you know, all that. And uh, it, it would also take breeding out of the, out of the factor because, and then that would mean that um, hackers and legit players would then be on even footing for the first time because... Um, you can't really have a hacker make an Alakazam faster, make Alakazam faster than this, like, where's a modest, modest, you know, just put, like, Calm Mind, Dazzling Gleam, Energy Ball, or whatever you want. A hacker can't, uh, you know, cheat in uh, Pokemon that fast, and uh, maybe even uh, make it make it able so you could share your teams online. That would be cool, and just basically have an like an official style Pokemon showdown, uh, but just call it like Pokemon Stadium Free. And I think that would be the best way to solve uh, the issue of having to put every Pokemon into every game, because then it's like you don't have to do that because you. Uh, while it would be nice to be able to use any Pokemon I want going through the late, going through Gala, like, um, you know, it's Mimikyu, which might not even be in the game. Um, and I, if Mimikyu's not in the game, I will be sad, but I'm not going to hate the game just because my favourite Pokemon of all time isn't in it. Um, but yeah, that that's why I think we need a, a um, Pokemon... Stadium free now more than ever. But tell me, what do you think down in the comment section below? And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button. Comment down below what you thought of this video. And uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and uh, to ring a ding uh, that uh, notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.